Goku being born as a Nephilim, aka angel and demon at the same time, is actually a huge deal for the multiverse, as no one has no idea just what is he really capable of. In the last part, Reen mentioned that Bardock has met with an angel who has been outcast and has been exiled by Dai Shenkun. She has been exiled for the fact that she has fell in love with a mortal, and angels are not allowed to do so, and when they get exiled, they turn into demon. She then passed her power to Bardock as Bardock and her fell in love and he protected her and managed to get her pregnant and now she gave birth to Goku but Bardock disappeared while she has died doing so. Miris was the only one left to take care of Goku since he's the only one who knows about it and now he's confused on what to do with Goku. What is going on my Z fans? Welcome back to another part of what if Goku was born a demonic angel. Before we begin this what if, please click the like button I'll greatly appreciate it give this video over a thousand likes it shows that you guys support my hard work and please click the bell that way you'll be the first then when any new episode of this comes out you'll be notified right away by clicking the bell trust me if you feel like this channel isn't for you later in the future you can always unsubscribe Goku was at the Galactic Patrol world as Jocko came towards Mirrors and saw that Mirrors was holding on to a blue color looking baby and said uh Mirrors just what the hell is that? Oh, hey Jocko, it's nothing really, just don't worry about it. It's just some, I'm babysitting my nephew. Wait, you have a sister? Yeah, she told me to babysit her, so I'm just doing that for a little bit. I guess I'm gonna go return her back. Oh, okay. It's a pretty cute thing, what's his name? Uh, his name is Kakarot. Oh, wow. Alright, well, good luck with your baby problem. Nah, that was a close one. I better go take him quickly to where Zeno's world. I could also take him towards Master Wee's world. What would Wee's wonder about this? As Mir decided to go with the first option, that is to go visit Zuno. He set a course towards Zuno's place, and now him and Goku made their way towards Zuno. On Zuno's world, Mirrors has now arrived. As he looked towards Zuno, and Zuno knew who Mirrors was. He wasn't wearing his Galactic Patrol dress, he was wearing his Angel dress. Zuno was shocked to see an angel has come to visit him, and from there, Mirrors asked him to tell him everything about Goku. Who is this child, like what is he, what's his power and all that, he needs to know everything. Zuno took a look towards Goku and right away he told him that Kakarot is a demonic angel. My word, Master Mirrors, but tell me, where did she get this baby from? It's one of my friend's baby, why, what's up, who is he? Do you know that this creature here is a Nephilim? You mean he's half angel and half demon? Correct! And not just any half angel and half demon. This child is actually the answer towards the multiverse problem. What do you mean? I cannot go detail into that, but from what I could see, he is going to be the savior of this multiverse. And what's even better, his power is the brick between the angel world and the demon world. He's able to live the best of both life and make both of them be in balance. I guess that's a good thing, right? But where can we get the demon world? The demon world is actually a race that's residing on Earth. It's a planet of light years from here. You could get there within your speed within this 10 minutes. But once you get there, there's a door towards the demon world, and that's where they live. Send him there. Let him get some knowledge with the demon world. I suggest you should send him stay there for at least 10 years, and then let him spend time with you. That way he will understand the way of both angels and demon. But all I could tell you, this child is going to be the savior of this multiverse. Really? Amazing. Can you tell me some stuff about it? I cannot. That's all I could tell you now. Now go. Alright, thank you. With that, Mirrors took Goku and he went right back to the Galactic Patrol world. As he began to think to himself that if Goku goes there right now towards a demon world, they could either even kill him because he's just a child, he's like a baby, he doesn't know what to do with his power or anything like that. So Mirrors decided to do the one thing and that is he's going to look after Goku for the first 8 years of his life and try to get Goku to grow and make sure he understands the way of angel ways and stuff. It's not his training, it's just his way of understanding. His training will begin right after he's done with the demon world as Mirrors decided to go take the responsibility of raising and taking care of Goku. After all, he is going to be the savior according to Zuno, he has no idea what. So his idea was to let Kakarot grow. And as you know it, 8 years has passed as Kakarot was living in a galactic patrol world. 
He even joined them and helped them a little bit in their mission, as Jocko was told that Mira's sister has died and now he is the one who's raising Kakra, so he had no problem with Kakra joining the Galactic Patrol. While doing all their mission and stuff, Kakra then decided to follow Mira's way as he was learning everything he can, and from there Mira saw that Kakra was now ready to go make his way towards the Demon World. He then looked towards Kakra and said, You have grown a lot, Kakra, I'm really proud of you. Ah, <laughs> thank you, Mira's. But now, what do you want me to do? Listen, Kakarot, remember what I told you, right? Yeah, I'm a different person. I'm a half-demon and half-angel and also a Saiyan. That is right. And because you're a half-demon, I'm going to send you to the demon world. You're going to have to live there and let them follow you. And you can show your powers to them. You did train with me. Let them know who you are. Be there with them for at least eight years. Eight years, huh? Oh, okay. Then what I do after that? Nothing. You're gonna learn everything you can from them, and once you're done, I'll come to pick you up. Are you ready to go, Kakarot? Well, I, you said I have no choice, right? I need to learn my demon's ways, so okay. Take me to the demon world, Miris. I'll do everything I can to survive for there for at least eight years or so. Ha! <laughs> I know you could do it, Kakarot. Don't forget, I raised you. I have every faith in you. Alright, then let's go! As Miris begun setting a course towards planet Earth, and with that, he has arrived in 20 minutes. After he has arrived on Earth, Mirrors then strictly went and took Goku towards where the demon world was as he saw the gate that holds the door between the world of the living and the demon world and from there he looked towards Goku and said, Well Goku this is it, are you ready to go? Yeah don't worry Mirrors, I got everything in control, I'll handle everything. Well okay then, I'll see you, well, you could say about 8 years from now or so, make me proud, always. Well bye Kakarot, I'll see you soon. As Mirrors has now left, and with that, Goku has entered the Demon World. Once when Goku arrived to the Demon World, he then began to look around as it was nothing but darkness. He had no idea where he is, but then once he finally entered a room, he saw a bunch of demons were all lying there, as they were all relaxing, chilling, some of them were having a feast and whatnot, and from there, all of them reverted their attention towards Goku, as they were shocked to see a mortal has arrived towards their world, but at the same time, he is far from a mortal, they couldn't describe what he is, but they also saw that he was a demon. What the hell? Who is this guy? And why did you come to our world? Uh, my name is Kakarot. I have come here to challenge your guy's king. And once I beat the king, I want you guys to teach me the demon way. <laughs> you think you're strong enough to face our king? Well, my name is Toa, and there's no way you'll go up against our king. Well, why don't you bring him to me? I'll gladly take on him. What is going on here, Toa? Oh, my lord! Just in luck, looks like the king is here. What is happening here? I am King Deborah. Tell me, who are you, kid? My name is Kakarot. I'm a demonic Saiyan, you can say. And an angel, but that, we'll get to that later on. Huh? You are a demon? As Deborah began to sense Goku's power and he could sense the demon key within his blood. Ah, so you are a demon. I guess you came here to die then. Because demons like you shouldn't be wandering around a place like this. You're not even allowed to be here. You're a half demon. It doesn't matter what I am. I'm here to learn the demon ways. But for that, I'm going to first challenge you. And if I beat you... I get to become the king of this world! <laughs> you think you're strong enough to take on me? Okay, Pitch Squeak, you have a deal. You win, you can become the demon. Alright, let's do it then! As Goku and King Dopora got into the ready position, they were now battling to the death as Aaron got the battle stage ready for Goku and King Dopora to battle it out there and see who will be the winner. If Goku wins, he gets the title of the king demon, but if he loses, he will eventually die, as all the demons are ready to kill him too. With that, King Dubor and Goku got into ready position, and as you know it, their battle has begun. Both Goku and King Dubor stared towards one another, while Goku was able to easily read his power, since he is an angel. King Dubor went and charged right towards Goku, as he went and tried to strike him, but Goku saw it coming, and from there he quickly dodged it. Everyone saw that Goku was able to block King Dubor's move, not even one of the best fighters that were there. Toa was able to dodge King Dobro's attack, but Goku did it like if it was nothing. 
The Boro was really shocked to see that Goku was able to do that and said, How the hell are you able to read my speed? No one's able to do that. Well, I guess you could say I'm built different. I easily read your speed. Alright then, you wanna play like that? Let's play! King Dabar went and began to power up his ki as he managed to use more power. And from there he again went and charged right towards Goku, but this time he managed to land a blow. He went and punched him across his face. Upon getting hit, Goku tried to recover, but from there King Dabara went and he kicked him right in his stomach, getting Goku to gasp for air, and from there he went and he started to attack Goku non-stop. Goku was getting a beating from Debora until Goku decided to go and use some of his power and from there he began to power up his key as he took King Debora's hand and he twisted it and from there he kicked him in his spine, getting Debora to fall straight towards the ground. Everyone was shocked to see that as Debora smiled and from there their battle continued. Debora went and charged towards Goku, Goku did the same and both their power clashed at one another as they were going at it back and forth. With each landing blow, the entire demon world was shaking as both Goku and Debora weren't ready to stand down and from there Debora went and started to use more power as he summoned his sword. Upon summoning his sword, Debora went and tried to slash Goku as he managed to nip him and from there Goku was bleeding from his cheeks. Goku then wiped the blood off from his face and said, Not bad, I see you decided to use more full power huh? How about I do the same? <laughs> do whatever you like kid, the result will still be the same. King Dabara quickly went and came right in front of Goku as he striked him in his back but Goku managed to dodge that and from there Goku began to go power up his ki as he let out a scream and Goku has now transformed. Goku has now transformed by using something called his demon essence allowing him to have the power of a demon full control and now this is his demon form. Alright Debora, you're pretty strong but now you're gonna see the meaning of strength. Before Debora can blink, Goku came right in front of him as he nipped it right in his face and from there he kicked him in his stomach. Goku began to go and keep this up as he started to beat the crap out of King Debora. Debora was really powerless to do anything towards Goku but he had one trump card. He went and spat at Goku, getting Goku to turn into stone. Tch. That was a tough bastard, but too bad he's never gonna win. Thanks to my power. You're amazing as always, King Deborah. Thank you, Toa. Now, let's have a feast. Everyone saw that Goku's statue has begun to crack as it broke and Goku was released from it. That won't work on me. I'm an angel. I'm able to create a barrier on me before you could turn me into that thing. How about I show you something unique? Goku instantly came right from Deborah and he one shot him getting to pass right towards the ground. Everyone was shocked as they couldn't believe it that Goku managed to go and beat the king himself, King Deborah nevertheless. As everyone was really shocked but now they all went to their knees and bowed towards their new king, King Kakarot. To find out what happened next my Z fans you have to click the bell as we end things right here. If you haven't already please click the bell so you'll be the first time when next episode comes out as we have Goku now becoming the king of the demon realm. Will this continue? Will Goku continue to strive for greatness? Or will somewhere along the line come down where he's going to die as a demon? All this will be answered in the next part. If you haven't joined my Discord server yet, what are you guys waiting for? Click the link in the description below and join it so you can be the first Z fighters. And please check out my backstory, Hero of Z. The link is pinned inside the comment section below. Click it now and watch it as it's an ongoing series and you're going to definitely love it.